pisses me off so much. Well, it's like the story that you said about that patient that's like, my kid's unvaccinated, but... Can I stay in the infant room? Back then, when you would go to the pediatrician, you had a sick room yeah. and a well child's room. After vaccinations and our advancement in science, when you walk into a pediatric office today, it's mostly just one room because we were afraid back then that if there was a older child with something, they would infect babies and things like that. And even then, we usually try to keep newborns separate from other kids because newborns haven't gotten the chance to be vaccinated. And I argue that too. If I was such a person that it's all about neurotoxins and all these things, then why is it that we wouldn't just be vaccinating your kid from the day that they're born? Excluding the hepatitis B vaccine because there's research and data showing why we do it at, within the first 24 hours. But what about DTaP and polio and all these things? If I was so gun ho about making money and giving you this neurotoxin, I would have been putting it on you since the very beginning. But we have data showing that we should do this minimum six weeks of life even for the hep b vaccine there needs to be a certain weight that you need to meet